Wow. So big picture banner is China's the new Goliath, Detroit's the new David. It's really the Chinese who are on the offensive globally and Detroit who's sort of on their back heels and backing down. So pr prediction number one, look for Ford Motor Company, yes, Ford, to exit the China market in 2024. Since 2017, their sales market share been driving down faster than you can believe and their profits are no longer. So Ford would look at the situation and say, what's the future? We better step back. That's number one. We've got a lot of Chinese EV makers, of course, uh, vying for uh, supremacy. There's something like 200 EV maker brands in the Chinese market, but uh, they're looking to expand. They're going everywhere from Europe and even to the United States or trying to. You're saying now that they're going to go via Mexico. Can you tell us how they're going to do that? That's right. Not many people are aware that today already, China is the number one supplier of vehicles to the Mexican market. That's shocking. Just a few years ago, it'd be American companies or maybe some Japanese companies. But no, it's Chinese today shipping from China into Mexico. Next step, be, look for BYD, SCIC, Cherry and others to actually set up manufacturing plants in Mexico to service, yes, the Mexican market, but more importantly, to have a backdoor into the U.S. market. This is a real shocker for regulators in the U.S. Wait a second, hold on. We have a 25% import duty on Chinese cars coming out of China into the U.S., but what if they're manufacturing within North America a free trade zone? That's got alarm bells ringing in Washington, D.C. right now. As far as General Motors is concerned, uh, Mary Barra became CEO back in 2014. You're expecting potentially that uh, she may no longer have the top job there. She's had a good run, not a great run. It's been 10 years. In the last year, she's been beset by several real misses. The EV products that she promised didn't arrive on time or were faulty. Cruz, their vaunted autonomous vehicle firm, has gotten a lot of trouble with the regulators, laid off 25% of their employees. And just generally speaking, General Motors is a North American truck company. It's exited most other markets in the world. So after 10 years, look for her to step aside and someone else take the helm. Whoever that is won't have an easy job. Uh, GM has its work cut out to be competitive globally. What about consolidation in the auto sector? Uh, you're saying that Buick has a, a, a target on its back. Right. So if you look at what, where the Chinese have done really well as they go globally, as they expand globally, Geely, for example, bought Volvo and has done extraordinarily well with the brand in Europe and in the United States, as well as in China. Likewise, SAIC several years ago bought the MG, the Morris Garage brand out of UK. They're doing really well with that brand in Europe. So don't be surprised to see Buick be acquired by SAIC too. After all, 80% of Buick sold today are sold, manufactured and sold in China. So in a sense, Buick's already a Chinese. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.